Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. It is close to the end of month, end of the month of April. So it is time for a month in makeup review. That's where I show you all all of the makeup that I have purchased. I'm going to do this video in a couple of series and mash them all together because this month I was running low on a lot of skincare, on a lot of makeup. I saw a lot of good sales. So I made about two or three hauls from Ulta and Sephora, and I just don't know when they're going to come in. So as they come in, I'm going to film. And by the end of the month, they should all be in, and I'll mash it all together, and you all will get a nice review. So this is haul number one. Let's jump right into it. This first haul is from Ulta. This is... It has a lot of things that I just need. It's not a lot of excitement in this purchase box, but let's jump right into it. The first thing I ordered were these, they're like witch hazel pads. The name of this is called Thyers. Is it? I don't know, but I always get it. I normally get the um, toner in the rose petal fragrance one but this one was on sale at Alta, and it has two percent i don't know if i can say this so silylic acid and that's the one that helps acne and i already was running low on toner pads this was on sale and it helped acne it has a lemon fragrance it's it's it does not smell like kitchen dishwater soap. It smells, it's a really good lemony fragrant fragrance with a touch of mint. I tried this out the other night because I tend to get acne right here on this part of my face. And I tried it out after I washed my face the other night and it, I could feel the drying where it kind of dries up all the oil and dries up the acne. These are very good wipes. I believe I got them on sale for like $4 at Ulta. <clears throat> the next thing I got was my Morphe setting spray. To me, Morphe, this isn't really a spray. It's like a mist. You can see that on camera. It. This is the best setting spray, setting mist out there. It's only $16 where some setting sprays are like $30. Like my next favorite would be the Urban Decay All Nighter but that's like $30 something dollars unless you get a mini for $16 but why get a mini when you can get all of this? It, it definitely, when I spray this on my face, it sets your makeup one but it gives your face a glow two and then it gives my face moisture where my face doesn't feel cakey or look cakey it looks very hydrated so if you're into a setting spray and you want a good one and you don't want to spend thirty dollars on a more expensive one this morphe setting spray is it this next thing i got i got both of these for five dollars so ten dollars um i haven't opened them yet i probably will open them tonight because i have makeup on these are cleansing balms i love to clean my makeup off with a balm or a cleansing oil. I don't like to use makeup wipes because I feel like the wipes leave my face very, my skin super, 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 super dry. And I use a million of them just to get all the makeup off. With these cleansing balms or oils, you just need like a finger full. You rub it in like you would any other cleansing product and the makeup is gone in one wash. I love these. When I saw them on sale for $5, I just went ahead and got two. One thing, this, as you can, I don't know if you can see this. It's the Ulta brand. I've been trying to tell you all in previous videos, like Ulta brand, Sephora brand, they have really, 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 really good makeup and skincare products. Don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. And especially, they're always on sale. You can always find a good sale. The next thing I got and I did open, I needed a new moisturizer. I had a free sample. Of, as you can see, I opened it. I had a free sample of this. This is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. 
and I put in the cartridge where they have cartridge where they have extra like power, whatever you want to use. I know they have one for redness, calming, whatever. I got the one for fine lines and wrinkles because I'm just at the point I don't really have any fine lines or wrinkles. And I want to try to keep it that way as long as possible. So I'm definitely by anything that will help with that. This does not have any kind of SPF in it. And since we are on a quarantine, I felt like this, since I tried it before, it is so hydrating. It, it leaves your skin feeling very soft and silky. This is something where if you aren't going outside and you don't need SPF, try this. It's not that expensive. Like the normal skincare that I love for hydration on a normal day where I would go to work and have to go out in the sun could cost me 80, 70 to $80 because I do tend to spend a lot more on skincare, but this is only $30. I think I paid 32 and it already comes. I didn't have to buy it separate. If you can find it where it already comes packaged together, it's cheaper than buying the jelly and the cartridge separate. But it's amazing hydration for just sitting in the house. So I picked that up because I needed some new moisturizer. <coughs> Excuse me. This I can't live without. I already use like a toner pad. I, t I told you on my face just to tone and to bring back the pH and moisture to my face after a good wash. But for whatever reason, I don't know if this is even true this is a facial mist and it has aloe herbs and rose water i buy this one mostly because of the smell i love a rose fragrance in my skincare and i spray it on after i tone and i let the spray just soak into my skin it helps my skin feel hydrated it gets me prepared to put on serums and eye creams it just I don't know if I just buy it for the smell. <laughs> I, I don't want to lie to you all. I don't really notice a difference in what it does to my skin. I've seen people use this as a refresher when they want to refresh the hydration of their makeup, but they don't want to use a setting spray. But I just can't live without this. This little bottle is only $7. You can get a big bottle for $12. I bought both depending on how much I want to spend at that moment. <sighs> It's just a part of my Ulta haul. The next thing I got because I'm running low on this is my sugar scrub. I use this daily in the shower. I mostly use it because when I wash under, I'm probably about to give too much information. I apologize. But when I wash under my arms, you know how you can have the deodorant and it can leave that white film under your arms. I don't like that. Feeling. So every day before I put on new deodorant, I use this scrub because I want to make sure all the old deodorant is gone. And then maybe once a week, I will use this over my entire body because it is like an exfoliant. And I will like scrub my arms and my legs and it just will leave your body feeling super smooth. You don't have to use this daily over your entire body, but definitely a good once a week. I have tried all the fragrances. These all smell very good. I bought the Moroccan Rose one because Rose is my favorite fragrance. Because if I'm not in the store where I can open it and sniff it and see if I like the new fragrances, I just went with something that I knew. Okay, I'm getting close to the end. I was out of concealer. Like, I'm on my last few, <laughs> few drops of concealer. I just needed something to have around the house. So I went and got the Juvia's Place Concealer. My color is number 16. And it's a little bit lighter because I like this to highlight. Juvia's Place, to me, has the best concealer. And it is the most affordable concealer. Like, Juvia, her products, one, when I bought this first haul on Ulta, Juvia's Place had like a 30-40% off sale. So everything I got for Juvia's Place was already on sale. So I was happy for that. But I needed new concealer anyway. 
But Julia, for the amount of product, like you see how huge, I wish I had something to compare. But as huge as this bottle is, what is it? 34, 10 milliliters. As huge as this bottle is, as much product as you get, you use the least amount because Juvia's is so covering. It has full, this is a full coverage concealer. The one thing I hate about this concealer, you have to work with it fast. It dries down very fast. Like as soon as you put it on, you need to blend it out. Don't, don't put concealer all over your face and let it just sit there. It's going to take you a while to blend this out if you do that. I usually put it on, put it on, blend, put it on, put it on, blend. <laughs> I know it's a mess. But I love Juvia's Place concealers. You, you can't go wrong with it. To me, this concealer is $16. They can charge double and I would still pay. Like this is just as good as any $30 NARS, um, MAC, is any good of any other concealer, this will work. Okay, last but not least, because I love a good palette, I have dang on near <laughs> every Juvia's Place palette ever created. It might be two other palettes that I don't have that I probably just don't need because I have already have the colors. But this is the Nubian and Coral palette. And you all know I love these colors on my body period like I feel like orange is not my favorite color but it is my most flattering color whenever I put this on it just accentuates my skin tone so well it's so flattering especially in makeup today I'm gonna take my glasses off I did a look with this I tried to use as many colors as possible I used this as my transition then I went over it with the coral to kind of do a pop of coral in the transition and then I deepened it up with the dark brown and then I used this shimmer this shimmer and this shimmer all on the lid and then I used the coral and the dark brown under the eye I love these colors so much and when I got this on Juvia's place this was eight dollars <laughs> Mind you, Juvia's Place shadows aren't that expensive anyway. But for $8, I just threw it in the cart. <sighs> Online shopping is awful. Uh -uh. But I needed some new makeup. And I needed... I didn't need any new makeup. I needed some new skincare. My next haul is probably going to be a lot more skincare. My Sephora haul will be makeup because it's only certain type of foundations that I use. And Sephora is the only place that sells that brand. So, and then I got a Fenty haul coming too because Fenty has some new products coming out that I had to get my hands on. And by the time I put this video up, the VIB sale is probably going to be over. But if you know anything about Sephora, the VIB, VIB sale where you can get between 10 to 20% off of your purchases, depending on what level you are. Of course, I am a 20%er. <laughs> so I definitely got me some good Fenty while I was on sale and I, I re-upped on my foundation. So I will be back and I will be merging these videos together as they come along. So I will see you soon.